Hello, I'm Daryl Webster for smartstuff.co.nz and today I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint document library that you can use with your OneNote file and allow people to connect to it and collaborate on it. So you can use an existing library um, or create one. I'll just take you through both processes. The main thing is that you want to make sure that versioning is turned off because versioning is taken care of by OneNote. You can't use it with the check-in, check-out process. So over here on our team site, we can either create a new library or use the existing one. Let's just show you what to check for with an existing library. If we were to use shared documents to save our OneNote file, we need to check that version and is turned off. And you can find that in the library settings right here. And this is the, the main option to look for, no versioning. So if we create a new library, by default the versioning is turned off unless you've set some settings otherwise to make every library have a versioning setting on. We're going to create a new document library. And for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to call it OneNote. Notice there that I set the uh, document template to be OneNote notebooks. So each time a new document is created, a OneNote notebook will be created within it if you're using the new document button here. And just to show you that that library has versioning turned off by default. No versioning. So now that you have a library that you can use for OneNote, we're going to show you in the next video how to create a new OneNote notebook that you can share from the OneNote program. Thanks for watching.